And welcome back to the Mind Gym 102.1 1490, the game. Uh, follow me on Twitter, guys, Brit Fit Zone. And now we're going to get into some boxing. Okay, so we got Floyd Mayweather, Money Mayweather going at it with Guerrero this week. To me, Floyd Mayweather is like certifiable. The dude is an animal. Nobody's going to beat Floyd. Guerrero's not going to beat Floyd. Dave, what do you think, bro? I think it's going to be a better fight than most people expect. Uh, Floyd, I agree, he's an unbelievable talent. Uh, but if you watch his fights earlier in his career, 130, 135, he used his legs a lot more now. He's 36 years old. He's still got a great, he's technically perfect from people that I know that box. They tell me that. But I do think that this guy, Guerrero, uh, does have a good chance of making it a good, interesting fight. Uh, Floyd has historically had trouble fighting southpaws. If Ortiz hadn't headbutted him, that fight might have been a lot well, closer. A little different. Turned it. Yeah, it could have been a little bit different. But Guerrero, I think, is more disciplined than Ortiz. He's a little bit bigger than and, uh, Ortiz. And he really took it to Andre Berto. I got to tell you, Andre Berto reminded me of a bigger, stronger Floyd, and he just walked right through him. Well, let's see what you guys think. 490-2750. Sean, Virginia Beach, welcome to the Mind Gym. What do you got, brother? Well, Sean, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you. I, I thought Trout was going to give him a little bit better fight. Canelo's a beast. Canelo's big, he's strong, and he's fast. Um, I think Canelo is, is a legitimate contender. And I think when you have divisions like these that are dominated by one or two people for so long, we forget that there are a lot of killers out there. But the truth of the matter is there's always going to be someone who's young and hungry and up and coming. And the older you get, the likelihood of them deep throwing you is going to increase. But the fact of the matter is, Floyd Mayweather is the best boxer walking the planet right now until Period. someone proves otherwise. Period. And they have yet to true. do so. No one has yet to prove that otherwise. But I would be willing to bet Antoine or we could Pete Rose that like we were talking about earlier. <laughs> yes. In case you... I, yeah, I would Pete Rose, Pete Rose the house here that he never fights Canelo. One thing well, about you Floyd... Box? Pete Rosing refers to you betting on a sport that you either did or currently oh, have. You can't, you can't Pete Rose that. Okay. Can't Pete I'm going to Pete Rose, Rose that. You're Pete Rose in me. Don't be <laughs> such a Pete Rose. Why you got to go all Pete Rose on me? It has so many applications. Since Antoine has a professional boxing record, he can Pete Rose all over this fight. But I will I'm going to Pete Rose all over you, bro. I do think, <laughs> Antoine, I'll ask you, I think the Canelo fight would be a very, very dangerous fight for Floyd. Floyd, since he's moved to 147, although he's won all of his fights, other than the Ortiz fight, and that was a very controversial knockout, Oh yeah, he hasn't knocked anybody out. Well, a lot of people don't give Floyd. Floyd is very, very smart, very intelligent fighter. And, you know, Floyd is the type of guy, you know, he's almost, you love hearing him talk, you love hearing him uh, pump a fight, promote a fight. But he's crossing the line with what stops the promotion, what st starts to become just annoying, and people just don't want to hear it. And he's dancing right. He does a really good job at dancing right on that line and almost becoming like an anti-hero. You know, he's yes. not a heel, but he's an anti-hero because people love to see him. No matter if you're going to see him get knocked out or you're going to see him, you know, beat the hell out of somebody, you're going to go see him. You're going to put butts in the seats. And I agree with you, Justin. There is nobody that is better than Floyd. I, and I'm going to go on a limb and say, in the history of boxing, as far as pound for pound, the best fighters out there, he's definitely top three. And we always talk about the heavyweights when we talk about the history of boxing. But this is a guy who has, you know, kept a division going that had no excitement in it. He has. Oscar De La Hoya. Yes. The only criticism of Mayweather this is a non -Latino, that he does get. This is a non-Latino who's yep. not who non-heavyweight. Non Latino, biggest draw in combat sports I, in history, period. Right. Mayweather, the one thing about him, you know, he's a very smart businessman, but I think the way, 20 years from now, if he doesn't fight Alvarez, 
obviously the Pacquiao fight now, which should have happened a couple of years ago, yeah. didn't, and now that's not looking like it's ever going to happen. The one knock on Floyd that he'll never be able to shake, and I think if he did move up and fight Canelo, I, I would agree with Antoine. I would say top three. I mean, make him fight Andre Ward. To well, catch well. Him. Well, that guy that you can't. Andre Ward, he's <laughs> yeah. a light heavyweight, man. Come on. Well, what do you, super middleweight. But <laughs> you cannot deny the fact that the one knock on Mayweather is he sort of cherry picks his opponents. He does. He does. But, and I was going to touch on that. He waits till his opponents get right over the hill, right to their past, their prime in their career, and then he calls them out. He bullies them into a fight, and then he goes in and beats exactly. them up. He, but, you know, that's smart. When it is smart. Four, when That's you're smart. 42 and 0 and 36 years old and the undisputed champion, pound for pound boxer, you have that right. The way I say, I mean, it, no one, you don't, no one can make you fight some 23 year old. I mean, people are looking at Adrian Broner as the next guy because he's going to be fighting uh, Pauli Magalinagi at welterweight, and then because he's 23, he's definitely going to be fighting at super welterweight yeah, he, in yeah. not so many yeah. years. But do you really want to see a 38 year old Mayweather fight a 25 year old Adrian Broner who has less than half as many bouts as he does? I don't. He might beat him, but he hasn't paid his dues, and I think that's the thing a lot of people forget about when it comes to contendership. While you might be better than me, you got to. Earn. Got to earn right. it. Right. You, know, right. you have to both prove it and earn it. Bryce, Virginia Beach, welcome to the mind gym. What do you got, brother? Bring What's up, on, Bryce? Bring it on. Bryce, let me uh, throw another name out there, Bryce. Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah. Well, well, Bryce, you look at it like this. I mean, times have changed. I mean, you coming from a time to where people ha were fighting every month, every month, every six weeks. And the, the game has changed a little bit. People are wrestling in between fights. There's a lot of fanfare between fights, and people don't have to fight as frequently. I mean, you're comparing a $30 million payday to a yeah. $120,000 payday. There's a I lot mean, there's more a money. Lot different. There's a lot more money on the line, which means there's a lot more risk on the line, which means there's a lot more pressure on the line, and which means there's a lot more talent who are hungry for that big $1.5 million pay-per-view by payday. That equates to tens of millions of dollars in the pocket. Now, I, would, I wouldn't say that Floyd is the best of the best, the creme de la creme, but I do put him in the top three, in, in my top three. You know, I'm, I'm, go, I'm yeah. saying, and my not top favorite. three might be, not yeah. Not in my top Yeah, no, 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 exactly. But thank, <laughs> thanks, thanks Bryce, I appreciate Bryce. it, man. All right, so, so we're at a, in a position to where, and this is just came out yesterday, we have Floyd Mayweather, Calling uh, Pacquiao, calling himself Pacquiao, and says, "I'll give you forty million dollars, twenty million of that tomorrow, advance if you fight me." He says, "Pacquiao says no, I want half of everything," and hangs up the phone. What do you think of that? That's that's always been the debate. First, it was Olympic level testing. Then it was I don't want to do fifty fifty split. And I see that point. We talked about this I, on my podcast uh, last month, which was. You know, Floyd looks at it as, if I fight Pacquiao, that could potentially be the most dangerous, most damaging fight to my body, whether I win or lose, which means I might not fight again after that, even if I win. That's my last payday. I want the most I can ever get. Or I can fight three or four other guys, not to say they're not as dangerous, but that I feel like I have a better chance of preserving my body at 36 years old, and I have hand problems that constantly mm -hmm. break and make that much more money. I'll make 60% as much on this pay-per-view that I would on that. But I'm going to fight five more times, which comes out to three times as much money. Yeah, yeah. and people don't realize that Floyd, to, stay, to be as competitive as he, as he is, he works very hard to stay yes. there. He, yes, he, he has to. He, has, he to. has to. And he does have hand problems, so he has to make up for that with speed and conditioning. The dude is an animal in the gym, and a lot of people don't give him the credit that he deserves for it. Antoine, and speaking of uh, fighters that are gym rats, how about Bernard Hopkins at 48? Yeah. Winning the light heavyweight champion. Uh, yeah. Animal. 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 We could spend, Total animal. We could spend the whole hour talking about Bernard yeah. Hopkins. Oh, hey. Great fighter. But unfortunately, we, we are out of time. Um, Close the statements, Dave. What you got? I can't wait to uh, watch Mayweather uh, Guerrero this weekend. And uh, 
I'm making a bold prediction here, but I believe Guerrero may pull this off. All right, you heard the you heard the man. Let's see what happens, Justin. What you got, bro? Look, if you love UFC, if you love boxing, you need to tune into us every Wednesday, six p.m. The Mind Gym with Antoine Brick. If you want to get in shape, head down to the Brick Fit Zone. They're going to give you the best prices of any other gym in Hampton Roads. You don't like the idea of CrossFit? Fine, we'll find something that works for you. You don't want to lift weights, you don't want to box, then fine. We'll get you kickboxing, we'll get you doing judo. Doesn't matter. Bring your wife, bring your kids, bring the whole family. Family discounts. Follow me on Twitter. At, full, at Fight Factor Live. Check me out on Facebook, The Fuller Fight Factor. Check me out my podcast, Fuller Fight Factor Live. But most importantly, tune in Wednesdays at 6 p.m. <laughs> he just took everything I had to say, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to our first show. We're going to keep it going. We're going to get bigger and better. Follow me on Twitter. Friend me on Facebook. Follow my Facebook fan page, Antoine Britt on Facebook. Brit Fit Zone on Twitter. Blast the station to get us on two hours, five days a week. We can't do it if you won't do it. One more time, guys. Thank you again. And welcome. Here we are, the Mind Gym on 102.1 FM, 1490 AM. The game. Peace out. That was a good nice, show. Man. That's how it's done. Yeah. I thought that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, you got, I got mental jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> mental jujitsu. I, I think they can hear when you bang on the table, too, because I can hear it in my oh. I can hear the, like, the vibration. Of <laughs> that's okay. That's Being okay. Not, yeah, it's, it's intense. Like, <laughs> Get in here right now. <laughs> Calm it down. This is how things are going to play out.